Today we are making Boo from Monsters Inc. I'm excited about this. I finally did it. I've been wanting to do this for so long and today is the day. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is John Goodman and today we are making Boo from Monsters Inc. Now if you watched my Mike and Sully cake, then you know that I think that Boo is a part of a trio instead of just Mike and Sully as a duo. I thought they were a duo and then I saw Monsters University and I felt like I was missing something. And that something was Boo. So today we are going to create Boo. I'm excited about this you guys. It's, oh my gosh, it's going to be so cool. So let's get started. So to create Boo, I'm starting with 4 inch round cakes and I cut them in half so I could add more buttercream in between each layer to give me a little bit more height. Now the version of Boo that I'm making is when she's wearing the monster's costume as a disguise. And to create this, I am using a vanilla and lavender cake. And I know a lot of people are like, lavender's not a flavor. Yes, it is. All right, it's in this cake and it tastes pretty bomb. So I've got one and a half four inch round cakes and I'm gonna be adding one and a half six inch round cakes to the top of this. And I'm just gonna continue adding buttercream in between all of my layers. That. Next layer, looking good, looking very good, very, very good. Final layer of cake, perfect height. Perfect, 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 perfect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just taper the sides to create the shape of the costume. So I cleaned it up. This is the shape you're going for. It's like a red solo cup, but then you're gonna have it go in a little bit more towards the bottom so that it's more rounded shape. Now this is gonna be the body of Boo. I'm gonna be creating her head separately because I don't wanna get the purple fondant that I'm gonna use for the body on her face. So I'm not gonna work on them while it's stacked. That's too messy. It, it'll get too messy. Will it? Oh, maybe I should. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna overthink it now. Now I'm gonna finish this part of the cake with a crumb coat. I'm gonna place it in the fridge and then start to work on Boo's head. Now to create Boo's head, I'm gonna be working on this piece of cake separately until I'm more comfortable with the buttercream. So I'm adding buttercream in between my layers, just like this. I think I actually need a little bit more cake, <laughs> uh, which is why I decided to split my two pieces of cake into three so that I could add extra buttercream in between the layers to give it more height. So I'm being very generous with the buttercream <laughs> right now. Usually I'm not. I don't like that much buttercream, but for this cake, because I need to meet the height requirements, this buttercream is kind of thick. I got that. Last layer of cake and voila. Boo's head. So I'm going to carve this a little bit, not too much. And I'm just gonna get the basic shape of Boo's head. Actually, you know what? I think it still needs more cake. So I'm gonna add some leftover chocolate cake to the top of this. So that's the perfect height. I'm just gonna start to add some indentations for her eyes. Oh my gosh, I actually should put this in the fridge for a little bit to set up, but I wanna finish this fast, so. I am just going to keep working on it. Ta-da! What do you think? It looks uh, <laughs> like nothing. I'm pretty happy with the shape. I'm going to clean up my board, give this a crumb coat, and then place it into the fridge to set up. Then I started to work on Boo's costume. Now to create the costume, I'm going to cover the body of the cake with violet purple. Monster violet purple. Just work it all the way around and then smooth it out with my offset spatula. Now there is a lot of texture on this costume, so I'm gonna use a piping bag and wrap around some really thick lines to create some rib texture. Now to finish my rib texture, I'm gonna add a little bit of buttercream like this, and then I'm just going to take a spatula and just blend it into the rest of the cake like that. This would probably work better with a paintbrush. I'm gonna repeat this process with all of my different piping detail, and then we can move on to the next thing. Back into the fridge it went, and then I pulled out my head and started to add some Boo skin tone buttercream. Let's create her head. I use a lot of Boo pictures. I needed to make sure that I got all of the dimensions of her face right, so I was looking at stills of the front of her face, profile shots, just any picture I could get so that I had a clearer map of the dimensions of her face. Now I put these pieces of parchment paper in so that they could give me a guide for her eyebrows. And I put it in the fridge, let the buttercream set up, and then took them off so that I could use a small piping bag 
and just pipe out perfectly shaped eyebrows. Now to create her hair, I'm going to be using a little bit of fondant to attach her bangs so that I don't accidentally mess up her face. And I'm just going to use more fondant to create some more hair details. So I'm going to use this to create her sideburns and then just wrap the back of it with fondant as well. Now that I have the border done, I'm going to fill the rest of her hair with black buttercream. So I've got the body, I've got the head, I need to make the top of my costume. And to do that, I am using fondant. I color matched my purple fondant, rolled it out, and put it on top of a half dome cake pan. I'm just gonna cut away the excess, wait till it crusts, and when it's time to assemble my cake, I'm gonna place this on top of Boo's head. Simple, simple. After that, I placed Boo's head on her monster costume and started to finish her face. I got a tiny pastry bag to create some eyelashes, and then I use fondant to create some pupils and catch lights. All right, so this is our cake so far. Um, and you can tell I made a major mistake because her head is too big. When I carved this cake, I think I carved it the size of the image, so I didn't account for the like one centimeter thick buttercream that's supposed to go on top, which is why it ended up being bigger than I expected. That was fine. I kind of tried to adjust the face a little bit so it looks more like maybe like a two year old instead of like Boo, who I think is like three or four. So it looks okay. I'm still not sure if this is gonna look like Boo by the end. I still need to do a lot of work on her eyes, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna be using a lot of fondant for this piece. The cake part is done, but the accessories that I made for this, like the arms and the feet and the top of the costume is all made of fondant. And it doesn't stop there because I still have to add all of the detail and the fondant eyes to go on top. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep the pigtails because I don't know if they'll fit underneath this top. I'm pretty pleased with this, so let's finish it. Now this is where all the fondant comes in and there's a lot of fondant on this cake. Well, actually not that much if you compare it to all of the really heavy fondant cakes I've created in the past. I was gonna create her hands and feet with buttercream, but I didn't think that the buttercream would hold up when I was creating her waving hand. So I decided to create them with fondant. I also created the top of her costume with fondant because I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it. I didn't like the fact that it covered up her pigtails. And so creating it with fondant would allow me to remove it if it just didn't work out. But after I added the monster eyes, oh, those are bulbous straws that I'm using <laughs> to hold them up. I knew that I was keeping them. It just looks so cute. Now I reattached the pigtails at the bottom and voila, my bootcake was complete. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good. You know, there's so many elements that I love about this cake and so many elements that kind of steered me away from making it because I knew it was going to be complicated having to do her face and then having to create all of these like octopus monster creatures and the top part that's just made of fondant. I knew it was going to be a little complicated to make and I was just too lazy but eventually I decided you know what today's going to be the day that I make a boot cake. I think her big head looks nice in the costume. I think the only thing I have a problem with is that her eyes aren't rounded enough and it kind of loses a little bit of depth at the side. I could make this again. Obviously, I'd make her head a little smaller, but I just think it's adorable still. I love her little expression. Oh gosh, so good. I'm still gonna consider this a buttercream cake. There are a lot of fondant elements, but the actual cake is covered in buttercream. Only the accessories are really fondant. This hat, oh my god, looks so good. Now I'm curious, what Disney character would you like to see me turn into a cake next? If you haven't seen my other two Monsters Inc. cake, there are links in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Today we're making a Monsters Inc. boot cake. Now to create the body, I'm going for the shape of a red solo cup. And I was trying to sing the song red solo cup when I was making this cake. Red solo cup. Da, 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 da. I don't know that song, so I ended up singing Come On Eileen, which is also a very good song. After I finished my solo cup shape, I gave it a crumb coat and created her head separately. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to mix the purple buttercream for her body with the skin tone buttercream that's going to go on top until my carving was complete. After I gave this crumb coat, my first steps to creating a boot cake were complete.
To create Boo's costume, I'm using Violet. I covered my cake, smoothed out the buttercream, and then used a piping bag to pipe out these really thick lines. I turned them into rib texture to mimic the costume in the movie. Now this is what I'm really proud of. I used skin tone buttercream to create Boo's face, and it just, it looks like a baby doll. This looks like a toy you could buy at Target. I'm so proud of this sculpt. We got a little itty bitty nose, and I added some fondant eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so cute, but if you don't finish it, it's so scary. <laughs> I'm ready for the next step. To create Boo's face, I taught myself a really good eyebrow hack. I used parchment paper to cut out the perfect eyebrow shape, placed it on my buttercream, let it set up, and then just peeled it off with an X-Acto knife. It left this really small imprint that I used as a guide when I was piping out all of the eyebrow buttercream. After that, I created her bangs with fondant and then filled in the rest of her hair with black buttercream. Two different mediums, but all I did was blend it together and it looked seamless. Fondant was a huge part of this cake. I created her eyes with it and I really wanted her hand to be waving. I didn't think buttercream would hold up so I created her arms and limbs with fondant. I also wasn't sure if I wanted the top of the costume to cover her pigtails so I created it with fondant and if it didn't work out I could just remove it. But after I finished adding all of the fondant monster details I knew I was going to keep it. It just looked too good. A plus man. Good job. I didn't realize how important Boo was to Monsters Inc. until I watched Monsters University. It's pretty funny. Mike and Sully are great, but the entire time I was watching the movie, I just felt like something was missing. And that was Boo. I really hope if they decide to make another movie, that instead of going backwards in time, they go forward. And we get to see an older version of Boo. I think that'd be so interesting. I would be curious to see if she viewed everything that happened in the monster world as fact. Or if, as she grew older, she would just start to rationalize everything that happened as being part of her imagination. Disney, can you please answer this question? 